Hi, it's Alaska Granny. No matter where you work, live, or travel, you probably should make sure that you own an all-hazard weather alert radio. This is one that I have that's a Midland uh, weather alert radio, and it uh, is a very easy-to-use, reliable radio. Not only does it give you the weather uh, emergency situations, it has all types of hazards that you can dial in for your specific area or you can use the preset settings that it got. All kinds of features and I'm going to show you how it works. The first thing you want to do to set up your radio is put in the electrical plug cord and uh, there's a spot right here you plug that in and the cord's about six feet long so it helps you know where you can put it away. There's also a a box here that you want to open this and install for uh, AA batteries. If you unplug it without the battery backup, you lose your settings. It'll still work when you plug it in again, but you have to redo the settings. And in a power outage situation, you want to make sure that your alarm is still working, so be sure you put those in there. Then you want to take your antenna and put it all the way up so that you begin to receive your signal. So the antenna is about two feet long. And if you have any trouble not hearing it, make sure that you put the antenna uh, like closer to a window and not a block wall or inside a metal building can help that, uh, can make it so it doesn't work as well. You want to press the menu button and it begins with alert mode. So if you want to work on that area, you push select. Then you can either have, with the up and down button, you can have siren or voice and then you push select and now that's set to voice. Then it goes to backlight. It can be normal and you are pushing select that you want to work on that. It can be normal or continuous. I like it continuous so that the light on the screen is visible and I'll be able to know what's going on. Then the setup for the alarm. You push select and it can tell you what time you want it the next one and then you push select once you've set it. Now you set the time. So you would say select and you would toggle up or down to set the time the way you want it. AM PM and then you just have to pay attention to that if that's important to you. Especially if you're setting the alarm. Make sure you see the little AM PM and you get it correctly on there. Okay. Then you can put the date, same thing. You select that you want to work on the date and you scroll up and down and you get it the way you want it. You push your select. The next option is siren level. It can be low or high and I want mine on high. So I'm going to select that. The next option is to test the siren. So you push, so I know that's what it's going to sound like. Then we can add alerts. You can go through all the county codes. You can do all kinds of things. You need to look specifically in the guide for your uh, particular area and the things that you want. Make sure that you know the risks for the area where you are and that you do the best you can to ensure the safety of yourself and your family. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel and have a wonderful day.